Hey folks, this is Alan Jones in Sound Gallery at Hi-Fi Buys. I appreciate y'all taking a moment to listen. I uh, have some exciting things to tell you about. Uh, we are gonna discuss uh, in detail as we get down the road to uh, the brand new REL T5X, T7X, and T9X subs. I have the T5X sitting here, and as you can see, it's a very attractive sub. Uh, we have always loved REL. Uh, they're very special in the way that they hook up and the way that they perform. Uh, also, they're available in some really nice colors, and we'll get into those kind of details as we get down the road. So I just wanted to let you know, stay tuned for an in-depth discussion about each of these brand new REL subs. I am here to give you kind of the specifications and kind of what most people want to hear about in the uh, new REL T5X subwoofer, which I have sitting right beside me. This is an amazing little sub. Uh, they have improved these things dramatically. The T5 was a very, very popular sub for us. Comes in both uh, gloss white and gloss black. Uh, it has a 125 watt RMS amp in it. So a lot of subwoofers that are out there will say they have four or 500 watts. It's kind of like a peak kind of thing. So <laughs> you end up finding that uh, this is actually a real 125 watt class AB amplifier that you end up finding just produces some amazing bass, articulate, dynamic, and fast down to about 100, excuse me, down to about 32 hertz. One thing that you'll find on it is that with the REL subs, both the T5, T7, and T9X subs, you end up finding they can both have a LFE channel plugged into them from the preamp out or from the, uh, shall we say, subwoofer out of a receiver. And then you can also have a speaker connection for music listening. One of the advantages of doing this type of connection from the amplifier is that the speakers are getting that same sound out of the preamp and the amplifier in the system. And one of the great things about this is that it actually, shall we say, takes that same sound and feeds it to the sub through a Nutrix connector on the back of this that then actually hooks up to the back of your amplifier. These are amazing subs. Uh, this guy sells for $679, uh, an amazing value for a sub. I just think the style and that kind of thing is amazing. I think one of the things that they've ended up doing, uh, they have actually added more volume to the cabinet, yet made it look smaller. So I don't know exactly how they do that in design, but uh, <laughs> I'm real proud of them for doing it. This is an amazing sub. We've been playing it here at the store and we'd love you to come down and take a listen. I think you'll find that uh, the experience you'll get with it will actually nail what this sub offers. And uh, we're real excited to show it to you. And now on to the T7X. We are going to talk about the RAL T7X a bit more in depth. I have it sitting here right beside me. This is the black gloss. It's available in white gloss as well and comes with a very, very attractive grill that goes on the front of it. We took it off so you could actually see. There is an eight inch fiber alloy driver in this that you can see on the front. Then we have a, a relatively larger passive radiator on the bottom underneath here. That actually helps with the amount of output that you can get out of this sub. This has a 200 watt RMS amp amplifier in it. Um, these are class AB amplifiers. They're much more expensive than the digital amplifiers you see out there in an awful lot of subs in this price range. By the way, this subs, sub sells for $10.99. It packs a lot more sound than its appearance. One of the things that they've been able to do is to actually add more cubic volume and actually be able to keep the cabinet with a smaller footprint. I think it's actually really amazing how they've done this. Um, I love the contoured sides, uh, really, really soft looking, um, but sonically not soft at all. I think one of the things that I love about RHEL is that you can actually hook up a LFE channel, meaning it has an RCA input to come from your receiver or preamp and go directly into it and then you end up finding you also end up having a Nutrix connector so that you can come directly off the amplifier when you're listening in two channel. The amplifier will know what it's hearing and at the same time will be able to play that back for you. So you have your preference of one way or the other or you can do both. It's very, very unusual in a subwoofer. We'd love to show you how this works down here at the store and also show you the performance of these subs. Their ability for bass output, uh, dynamics, uh, tone of the bass, these types of things. I don't think we've seen things in these prices that are doing this type of ability out of such a small package and yet again a very attractive package as you can see. And now for the T9X. 
All right, folks, we're gonna talk a little bit about the specs and what this T9X from REL can do. I have it sitting right beside me. This again in black gloss. These are available in white gloss as well. This is the largest of the three series. This has a 300 watt RMS Class AB amplifier in it. You'll find again that that's pretty rare in amplifiers within these price ranges. Uh, you end up finding most are doing digital amps. Sometimes some of the tone is not the same. The Class AB amplifier along with the low level Nutrix connector that's in the back, uh, it allows us to actually hook up to the speaker binding post on the back of your amplifier so that this sub can get the exact same signal that your speakers are getting. It helps the two match up better. Uh, you'll find when you take a subwoofer out out of a preamp or a subwoofer out of your receiver, it's not really using the amplifier to deliver the signal, it's using the preamp to deliver the signal. So the tone of the amplifier is not really engaged in that regard. It doesn't mean it's a wrong way to do it. It's just what's great about this is it allows both ways. So basically you can be listening to music in two channel and this will actually get the signal directly from the amplifiers that your, that your speakers are. Or you can actually take a pre-out in your home theater and plug it into this in an RCA connector, okay, and end up having what they call an LFE. So the sub is gonna change back and forth as your uses change, or you can just use it in one way or the other. Um, most subs have these connectors. They're just not done in the classic way that REL has always done it. This company has been doing this this way for a long, long time. One of the things that I find uh, about this, this uses a very large 10 inch uh, alloy woofer and you end up finding it also has a 10 inch passive radiator underneath. These are both long throw designs. This thing can really move some air. It's dynamic, it's fast, impactful, and actually puts out a lot more sound, and I should say very accurate sound for its size. One of the things that they've been able to do with this new design, and it wasn't really just kind of let's improve what we had, it was really a, a whole new look at this T5, T7, and T9X series of subwoofers. And I'm so proud of this company for what they've done. Uh, again, very attractive. Uh, they have actually made the footprint smaller and added more cubic volume. More cubic volume means that the subwoofer can relax a little bit because physics is in control of that. So when we give it actually a little larger size, we're actually able to get a much more accurate tone out of the subwoofer. I'd love you to come down, take a listen to this, and also it's two little sisters, or brothers as you may be, the T7 and the T5. We actually love these subwoofers. We've got them in the showroom, and I am sure that if you come down, you'll get the experience you're looking for for a subwoofer. This guy sells at $14.49. Again, we couldn't be happier with it. We look forward to selling bunches of them, and we'd like to put one in your home. All right, folks, for the T5X, T7X, and T9X from REL, we're out.